Well, gee, plenty of stories over the years about these miracles that happen on 34th mm -hmm. Street here in Bakersfield. And here's Isabel's story. The music that fills the home of Isabel Williams and her parents, Laura and Kenny, is a whole lot sweeter these days. The family went through a dark time in October 2015 when Isabel, then just six years old, got very sick. She was having some difficulty breathing. She was just not being herself. We noticed she was kind of just breathing a little odd and we took her to ur uh, pediatric urgent care. They said she has bronchitis, she's fine, sent her home. But Isabel's condition continued to worsen and her parents brought her back to urgent care. They did a pulse of the oximeter, and I believe she was down in the 80s. And so immediately they said, we've got we've to take her uh, by ambulance. Isabel was immediately admitted to the pediatric intensive care unit at Lawrence Small Children's Center. Her condition was touch and go. And then it kind of sets in, okay, something seriously is occurring here with this little one. We actually had one of the nurses that came and pulled this aside and said, hey, you know, this, this is really serious and she could have to be intubated. The thing that really made it most difficult is Isabel is our rainbow baby. My husband and I tried really hard for many years to, to have our, our little one. And so just the thought of all that we had already been through, all the, you know, the infertility issues, and then to now be in a hospital and her life being at risk was hard. But on the sixth day, Isabel turned a corner and was released from the PICU. Her parents grateful for the generosity of so many of you who helped purchase life-saving equipment through CMN. I think the most important part of that whole thing is it came out very good. And I think it came out good because of the people that were there and the equipment they had to get her better. People had championed to bring that to Kern County, the people before us, and that it was available when we needed it. It was... It was, it was God sent for sure. Isabel, now 14, is paying it forward. She's been an ambassador for CMN and regularly volunteers to raise awareness about the importance of having this critical care here in Bakersfield. I want to make sure that we raise enough money for the equipment that was able to save my life because I'm alive and I'm happy for that. I'm happy they helped me. So I want to I wanna help them now. I want to help tons of kids like me. And we are so happy that CMN Miracle Child Isabel Williams and her family are joining us in studio tonight. It's so good to see all of you again. Yeah. Isabel, you spent six days in the PICU. Um, what do you remember about that experience? I know you're only six years old. Uh, well, I knew it was really scary because I was only six years old and I didn't know anyone there. And I honestly thought it was just a regular thing that happens to all kids. But it wasn't, and so that was really scary to happen to me. You yeah. didn't know anybody there when you went in, but I bet you made some friends while you were there with the staff, the nurses, and so forth, right? Yeah, most, yeah, all of them. They were all really nice to me. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> you are an accomplished pianist, by the way, too. I, I, it's a I hear she's, she's also sings. Yeah, yeah. Well, multi-talented. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, Kenny and Laura, can you just talk about what it meant to you to be able to stay here at home while Isabel was getting the care that she so desperately needed? Um, definitely being close to home was important to us. Uh, I can't imagine being away from um, just family and so many people who were worried about her while we were in the hospital. Um, but just having to drive maybe 15 minutes um, in an ambulance to get to the hospital was important. And then once we realized how serious it was to know that she was a, that they had all of the equipment and all the facilities to keep her here, mm -hmm. that was very amazing. Kenny, let me follow up with you. Did you know anything about the Lawrence Small Children's Center or the Children's Miracle Network before Isabel had her crisis? Absolutely not. But, but we did find out what a miracle they are when we got there with her and uh, the way they treated her and the quickness in which they got her to treatment. We were, it seemed like we were in the emergency room for only about 15 seconds. It was actually probably about 15 minutes or so, but they got her right to the PICU. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I know all of you, when I went out and talked with you, said it's so important for you now to support CMN. What do you want to say to folks at, at home, other parents? Like, you never know when it'll happen to you. Especially right? those who may be on the fence whether or not yeah. to pick up the phone and make that call. I, I would tell them to call because really when you look at what they did for Isabel specifically, it was a tragedy avoided uh, just by the life-saving measures that they have at the hospital. And yeah. so certainly as a parent, that's something you want to look at. And fortunately for us here in Bakersfield, we have that here now. Yeah, definitely. And Isabel, you're a freshman now. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else do you like to do besides play piano? Uh, well, singing is pretty fun. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to try to play softball. I like I like acting. I'm in drama class. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. All right. So that's pretty fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I know that you, it's important to you, as you mentioned, yeah. too, to, to support CMN. And, and I know you were a champion back in 2016. Yeah, it was it was pretty fun going around and meeting people who also want to help kids like I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's so great to see all of you, yeah. Kenny, Thank Laura, you. Isabel. I'm, I'm so glad you're doing so well. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Thank you. So you. Much. Appreciate Isabel, you. the world is your oyster, no doubt about it. Yeah. Great <laughs> things so coming talented. from you, no doubt. Yeah. Thank you. Kenny and Laura and Thank Isabel, you. thanks so much for your time. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so many ways for you to give, and if you haven't done so yet, now is the perfect time to pick up the phone and make that donation. Your generosity will help many families just like the Williams. Last year alone, the Lawrence Small Children's Center saw more than 40,000 babies and children in need of pediatric care. That's quite a stat. Mm. And from the tiniest of tots born into this world far too soon to children who need acute medical care after a sudden illness or injury, the services are there. Giving to the Children's Miracle Network is a quick and easy way. You can uh, start by calling 336-0500 or text KGET to 51555. And remember, every dollar raised here in Kern County stays here in Kern County. Yeah, we are seeing the benefits of it time and time again. Absolutely. Okay.